So let's get the towel on. We're going to do the shampooing. I'm going to do a shampoo. I'm going to do first. I'm going to do a clarifying shampoo. Then I'm going to go in with a nourishing, moisturising shampoo. The reason why we use clarifying shampoo is to get rid of any oil, dirt, or build up. Then I use the nourishing shampoo to put moisture back in the hair. You need to use both shampoos like a marriage. You need a clarifying. Then you can finish off with a nourishing or moisturising conditioner. As you can see, the first shampoo is not really lather enough. That's because there's build up of oil. So the first shampoo is just really cleansing the hair and getting the hair prepared for the nourishing shampoo, which you'll notice that we really would love it the next shampoo. Also, I always use sulfate free shampoo and my conditioners are paraben free. And we need to do that because of all the chemicals that have been in the normal shampoos are really harsh on the hair. So we need sulfate free shampoo and paraben free. The size of her hair, she's still got a lot of glue from having a lace from the roof, so I'm going to add pay attention to the size um, and shampooing and uh, the conditioner will help massage it up to lather it up. This smells nice. Yeah. What's your favourite bit about doing the hair? Let's see if you can do a silk press. What's your favourite process from start to finish? Styling, blow drying, washing, washing, um, cutting. Styling, mm -hmm. cutting, Yeah. and the last finish. I like to use um, Kerry Care products. Um, so the first shampoo was the first lava shampoo, and then I've gone in with a hydrating shampoo, which is the moisture shampoo. Glue at the side of your hair, so I'm just giving it some extra shampoo in here. Okay. Okay, so what's happening on Tuesday? What are we doing Tuesday? Oh, I'm going to Manchester for a cast collection shoot. Okay, but I'm just using a brush. I know it looks a bit messy. I'm, I've um, more or less removed all the glue that was at the side of her hair. Shampooing also, I like to say that hot water opens the pores and cold water closes the pores. So when I do a condition at the end, and when I've washed out the conditioner, I use quite, not even little more coldish water. What I'm going to do, I've added conditioner to the colour. So that helps the colour to be more conditioning, to help that the hair doesn't dry out by having the... my Kylie lip oil that I bought to get rid of the salvages. Tastes like pina colada. This is my Nivea. I don't actually like this one that much, but it's better than the one. Nothing. What did I used to use? Comet? No, it's better than Vaseline. No, it's not. This is really good. I would recommend. Welcome on board this Avanti West Coast service to Manchester Piccadilly. Josh has got Airpod Pro Maxes and I've just got Airpod Pros, no Max. Oh, why don't you see? I've been to a dry skin episode. Do you turn it up like this? He's loving his Airpod Pro Maxes. Welcome on to West Coast service to Manchester Piccadilly. Calling out rugby, Stoke-on-Trent, Macclesfield, Stockport. And how you mash up the zinc? Just transport police on 610. We'll sort it. See it. Say it. Sorted. My mum's there. Say hi. We are on the main Manchester for a shoot at the start of the vlog. Can you guys hear this music? At the start of the vlog, when my mum was washing and straightening my hair. She was never it, and now here she is. <laughs> this guy was sending me, but I think she hates this guy's music for his Got two models today, and I've got a makeup artist. This is the first time on a shoot where I've got a makeup artist come to shoot, which is super duper exciting. Usually I tell the girls to come with the makeup done and come with the hair done. One of the girls she's got a wig so I think she's gonna come with it done and the other girl she's got natural hair in a bun and my mum's gonna do her hair. Also I'll get like BTS content because my mum loves a 
the video. She loves her liquor. Do you know what I mean? I need to get some water and juice because I don't have any water or juice for the models. I have like crisp, but like, I mean like actual sustainable bits and bobs, like picky bits. Do you know what I mean? It can just be a tad louder, dude. I swear to you. Are you going to Google it? <laughs> How to make why is it not focusing? I'm going to dinner tonight with my boyfriend while I'm at just now I'm just going back home today and then we're going home tomorrow like a nice little quick um shoot and the reason why I shoot in Manchester is because it just makes sense. Actually I'm not gonna tell you the reason we try to do my job and do all my content and my shoot it. <laughs> People always ask me who's that photographer. I'm not gonna say. I'm gonna gatekeep. If you can find him, you can have him. If you can have him, can you keep him? What's the, what did DBE say? I'm gonna play that song right now and enjoy it. I'm gonna play that song on my AirPods, no Pro Max. Most cancellation solution this thing School made by co op that is so weird. My what? So my shoot is all done. I am obsessed with the, my camera dropped like twice. So if you can see the camera in the corner of the vlog, please, I'm sorry, drop me, drop it. <laughs> but yeah, um, the shoot is all done. Um, I'm obviously wearing cast, of course. My boss got me a Stanley. I'm a Stanley mom. The shoot went really, really well. We shot here in the arches. The arches are our main thing, our main, not thing, what do you put my main? idea or um inspo to shoot at because they give we also shot here with this chair and we shot in this arch on well. the, the pictures the blue pictures in this arch were fire and then we also moved around the studio but the studio is literally so huge 
it's also got a um, a bar, a sink, and um, a changing room, and a makeup station, which is real good. Um, but yeah, and a table in the middle. But yeah, it went really, really well. Um, yeah, Manchester, Manchester's cool. Work. It's cool. And it, oh yeah, there's also a content. What do you call it? A a what do you call it? A podcast studio in there. You can't really see it. the room's locked. Extra money and they paid for it. But yeah, that's the vibes. I'm super happy, super content with the content. <laughs> All puns intended. Now we're just gonna head back to the um, station in a minute because my mum's going back to London. And then just for that, I'm staying in Mane. Mane. Why is he playing this? I can't believe I dropped my camera twice. Not once, but twice. Anyways, I'm gonna feel my standing. I want to buy those like Stanley straw holders because I don't want my straw just out and exposed. But I can get it from Amazon for like five pound. But I saw the delivery fee and I said delivery fee. No. And it's still not even filled up. Can you see? Wait, my camera's being weird. My camera's being weird. Wait. Can you see? It's not even at the top yet. <laughs> We are at the hotel. It's so nice. I've stayed here before and I actually really like it. The bathroom is giving, like, very much nice, cute. It's got a shower and a bath. Um, the dressing area is amazing. Like, the mirror is seating to desk. Amazing. And then, let me get out of this way. Then we have the bed. I love the decor in this hotel. The dark decor is everything. And we have a view of the canal. Let me try. I can't open the curtains as much as I'd like, but I'm pretty sure you guys can see. We've got a city view on the seventh floor. When I've been here before, I was on the lower floor, but this is so cute. And then obviously, here's me again, looking like a cast girly. Yeah, I know that's right. I know that's right. I know that's right. I know that's right. Know that's right. Okay, I have like five minutes to get ready. Middle part. I should straighten my hair, but I'm not gonna straighten my hair again. Hey, Freddy, let's go and put in the cup. Okay, put the cup. Yeah. Hey vlog, we are on the way. I don't know, my lips are giving crazy. I don't know. But my makeup, I just did just bronzer. Did you? Free wear of ass. It's also Jamaica Independence Day. And I haven't listened to any Jamaican music. So I need to play some Jamaican music when we get back. <laughs> Jamaican Independence Day this time? Yeah. It's always this is your first time you've seen something. Jamaican independence, big up my country, was there in January and February. Shout out to my people them. Yeah, we're going to the Ivy Asia. We've been there before, it wasn't that great, but I mean, there's nothing, there's no other, like nice high-end restaurants in Manchester. They really need to bring a Hakkasan here, our favorite, or Yaocha, <coughs> our other favorite. I dropped my camera twice today and it's really, really bugging out and it's really upsetting me and my homegirls, but it's fine. I don't know, the lips are going crazy. Maybe I need to a thicker lip liner. My hair looks so good. Look at my hair flowing in the wind. <sighs> Which gal? We're gonna get the steak to begin with. We're gonna get the steak, um, the chips, the rice. Um, popcorn shrimp and then beef sushi, I guess. Wagyu beef sushi, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I didn't get it last time, but I'm trying it now. My brother's FaceTime in the group because he's in Toronto. What up, gang? This guy is actually such a clown. Can you guys see him? Wow. You're such a clown. 
Eat if I eat. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We eating. Well, that Jamaican food. Mm. It nice? It nice, no sir. No look so good. A little choco choco. It's sweet. <laughs> Big up my people on Independence Day. <laughs> Did she do your hair nice? In, in I've ordered all our food already. We haven't even been sat here for five minutes and I've ordered straight away. That's one thing I've worked with not say about me. And I'm a slow picker. I've picked the food before we even got to the establishment. Naturally. I'm so hungry. Very much excited. We had, I had like a panini earlier and then not donuts, but not food foods. I'm very much looking forward to having food and eating. I thought we have fries. They have secret fries, but she managed to make me fries. I'm very much excited about because anybody that sips at fries, if you're saying you like sips at fries, you're lying. I don't know why my lips are so odd. I'm not seeing the sip. A little bit up here, down here, it's like no. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, my boyfriend. <laughs> And then she's thinking, oh my gosh, I did not really. First bits came out, so we got um, fried chicken and then beef sushi. I've never had beef sushi. And the beef looks like it's cooked good, yummy, 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 yummy. The beef sushi. Um, the, don't even want to tell you the guys at the hotel, not really, because I like coming here and staying here because it's nice and pretty and dark vibes. I like the dark vibes. Hi. Welcome. I just welcome. This is me. of the what do you call it of the tops and the tracksuits and the tops <sighs> bro I really ate with that design I ate that one little thing I'm trying to be quiet because other people in the hotel lobby here's the lobby right now this is me and my wife and this is the lobby that's so nice I'm trying to find something to eat but yesterday I know you guys have seen those like crazy racist outbreaks where they're doing attacks against people of colour and also targeting Muslim people in particular as well as, I don't know if they're targeting to like Sikhs or Jewish people or Hindus but particularly on mosques the attacks have been disgusting and on black people but Joseph saw this yesterday. I don't know what he meant to me, but there was an attack in Manchester. 
where am I just like get us back to LDM? Oh, but a lizard sent me one that's now been attacked in Maidstone. And trigger warning, so if you don't like these things, I don't like these things neither. But I'm very much aware that I'm a black girl and boyfriend's a big black man. So it's like, ugh. Cabs here. I don't know what, how much content I got in this vlog. I'm still gonna post anyways because you guys know I deliver. Yeah, take my bed, please. Okay, let's go. Thank you. I like this hotel because it has like um, <clears throat> all these cars outside and then the cars have all their logos on it and all the cars in here have um, what do you call it like nice cars in the uh, in the parking lot yeah oh it's all rain my hotel <laughs> bye okay let's go Piccadilly. Uh, Piccadilly. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, look at this road. It's so scary. You can't even see the bottom of it. Oh, focus. It's this scary, scary hill. Like. It's so steep. When we came last time and Joseph drove down this hill, I, ugh, I was clutching my pearls. When we came yesterday, our cab was actually struggling up the hill, and I thought, car behind me. What would you make Manchester out of 6.5. 6.5? I was saying a bit yesterday, they need more high end restaurants. Or just like, yeah, yeah, high end restaurants. Because if you want to go out for a nice dinner, all you got is flipping Ivy Asia. How many times can one people go to Ivy Asia? And Ivy Asia is nice, but it's not like what Cassandra nice or you have to nice. That's when we brought back dessert to the, to the hotel last night. <coughs> when I got in, I had a shower straight away and then I ate my dessert with my eyes closed and it hit different. Different, different, different. I was saying in my last vlog, I had issues with my wisdom tooth. Last night, when I was sleeping, literally, my wisdom tooth was banging oh my hands been dry her wisdom tooth was actually banging and it's been giving me a headache an earache and a toothache why is my ear hurting so i just wake up at 5 a.m and take my tablets because bro this pain will be easy not at all like literally not at all so stressful so i literally packed my tablets in my bag because before it was my suitcase but i need them on deck because that pain they say toothache, toothache pain is the worst. Did I lie? Guys, I didn't even straighten my hair today. This is literally the hair straightened that I did yesterday. All I did was brush my hair. I wrap my hair so well. Brush my hair, one, two. You don't move, well, it does. It doesn't bend. Well, it does, but you can't see because I tuck it by my ears. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut my head off. I got myself, well, my boyfriend and I both got tortilla. I got a salad bowl, no rice. We tried to get on an early train and Dan was like, no, so, whatever. So, it's one hour. Damn, guys, our train is still delayed. We are meant to be on our way back to London. We're meant to be a good half an hour into our journey. 20 minutes, 25 minutes. But um, here we are. How do you feel? I'm not good. Ugh, the train's moving. Thank God. Talk. Yeah. It might be today that was not so long. Oh yeah. Maybe it's raining in other parts of London. Say London, England. It is London. I know. I need a drink. There's water in the bag. They have a shop in the train. I 
up at us moving my Stanley. And I'm very happy I did that. very fitting that after a cast collection shoot has come back to my storage i have quite a few orders of packs since i've been away um so i'm gonna get right on with that now what is i said what else is it haven't you done enough okay and a lot of these orders i think got in these big boxes which is a headache small hoodie need that okay not so much of a headache is it <laughs> yeah manchester was a good time i actually like manchester if i were to move out of london to another uk city it would be manchester for sure i think it's cute and money if money made us there then i must kind of live there as well do you know what i mean by that same logic if she can do that extra large play suit in pink I don't know, I, I, I like doing shoots in Manchester because it's fun that, it's fun because I'm always, I'm a London girl, do you know what I mean? I'm, I, I don't, going to Manchester even for me is a bit like, why am I in Manchester to go to London? But going to Manchester, I've, I've learned to appreciate other cities outside of London. Because I feel as if when you go to London, when you're from London, you have a London mindset, large black face. You have a London mindset when you think if it's not London, it's not London. Do you know what I mean? And so I think it's very mature of me to go to Manchester and be like, okay, yeah. I wouldn't move there, but if I had to move there, I would go there. If you know what I mean. Now I need to find some tops. I need a medium top in pink and then a medium top in white. Looking for the tops is so headache because they're all in like a box. I'm not in a shelf because I literally have no space on the shelf and I reordered more tops so it's just like the more I reorder tops the less space I have great <laughs> do you know what's crazy I'm driving my boyfriend's car right now but I need to get my car and I have cast stuff to take up my boot so I need to somehow order go and get my car come back to my storage go home you no know, come back to my storage drop the stuff in my boot off go home pack orders and live i don't want to do it i don't want to do it okay hey vlog my camera's flashing it's gonna die again just want to say bye thank you for watching this vlog hope you loved it and i'll catch you in the next one much love see you later